Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. We have another lipstick video for you today featuring new releases from Vive, Kosas, and YSL. Hmm, how did you put those particular brands together, Rebecca? What made them fit? Absolutely nothing. I simply had a bunch of new lipstick releases and thought, we throw them together in a video. Other than that, there's not much in common, although they kind of have similar textures. Huh. All right, so we're gonna talk about them, and I do have a montage of us trying them all on. So let's start with a new release from Vive, my favorite Scottish makeup brand. Uh, you guys know Vive, uh, Jamie Genevieve's brand. It is getting bigger and bigger. She's getting all sorts of awards in Great Britain. Eyeshadows are getting cooler and cooler. And this is her first venture into a more satin sheen, or as her brand calls it, color meets care. Here in the United States, each of these shades are $25. Uh, there are four shades and I picked up two. I picked up Nighty, N-I-G-H-T-I-E, like a nighty that you would sleep in, and Silk Sheets. So both very kind of gentle colors and you'll see them in a moment swatched. There's a slight vanilla scent to them. No sort of a tingle or anything like that on the lips. And they are a nice, actually full coverage lipstick, uh, but they do have a sort of, they're not super shiny, but they are definitely a, a satin sheen. I think that is a good way to describe them. I will not disagree with the brand. We are also gonna look at a request. So when Kosas came out with some new lipsticks, I grabbed the lipsticks, the bullet lipstick, traditional bullet lipstick. It is in another review and I liked them. I loved how comfortable they were, but I thought they were a bit fussy to use. I felt they went into lip lines and I thought they, they required too much care to put on. They weren't my favorite. And everyone said to me, ah, yes, Rebecca, but have you tried the Kosas Wet Stick Shiny Sheer lipstick? And I said, no, perhaps I chose the wrong one. I think I might have. This comes in 12 shades. There are $24 each, and I picked up the shades Baby Rose and 100 Degrees. Um, they are a kind of a balmy lip care, similar to the Vive, except this is more of a kind of uh, lip care gloss, uh, kind of like similar to Hourglass had one like it, um, even NARS. They're a little bit more balmy and kind of more serum-y like. Very pretty, very comfortable, cool little case. Beautiful case. The Vive case, actually, if I may back up for a moment, is really cool because it, it's, it's magnetized, I guess, but you don't hear the click. Yeah, I guess you do. It just kind of, the way it goes on there, it's just, it fits so beautifully. So that Vive case does need to be looked at. The Kosas case is a little bit kind of younger and, you know, just kind of more fun and fresh uh, for summer, it's super comfy to wear. Both the Vive and the Kosas, we'll get to the Saint Laurent in a moment, but both the Vive and the Kosas are comfy, easy to put on, easy to wear, quick to put on. Now, your lipstick style says a little something about you. I haven't forgotten the YSL. I find that some people love a fussy lip. They love to sit with a lip brush. They love to take time. They love to reapply. My dear friend Marion enjoys the reapplication process of a beautiful red lip. She loves that kind of old world style and the reapplying and the beautiful uh, packaging and things like that. Then there's me, other side of the spectrum. I wanna put on a lip color while screaming at my kids, driving a car, making dinner, and mowing the lawn. And I don't wanna mess up and I don't wanna to have to stop and go back. I get compliments when I wear a red lip, but I rarely do for that reason. So my friend Marion that I just mentioned, she will love this YSL. This Saint Laurent lipstick has a gorgeous case, which you'll recognize if you are familiar with YSL products, with the YSL here across. It's very, very chic, very cool, a nice weight to it. It has a beautiful bullet that comes up like this in gold. It's a slight bit fussier to apply. 
This is a lipstick, you're gonna say, I thought these were new, Rebecca. The shades are, just stay with me. This is the YSL, the Bold High Pigment Lipstick. It is bold and high pigment. There are three new shades. It, it, there's 15 total. So there were 12 originally. You're not wrong if you thought this wasn't new. They are $45 each. I picked up one of the three new shades. I picked up 1968 Nude Statement. I am wearing it now. It is extremely comfortable. Very nice to wear. Tad bit fussier to apply. Lasts eh, not quite as long. Now, this is a full coverage lipstick, so you would expect it to last a little longer, but you would need to do that chic, sophisticated, sultry reapplication probably a little bit after a meal, whereas these, you know, you're talking to your friend, paying the bill at the restaurant and putting it on, and the Vive are somewhere in the middle of that quickness. I probably could have done this on a quickness scale, uh, video, but this is kind of our chicest, the most expensive at $45, whereas the other two on the list are almost half the price of that. This is definitely our chicest, three new shades with a full coverage satin finish. Speaking of that finish, you're going to see how similar the finishes end up being on all of these on our swatches, which we are about to do in two different lightings. Let's start first in studio lighting. Don't worry, we'll take it into natural light. First on my arm, all the way left, we have the Vive Satin Slips Lipstick in Nighty, followed by Silk Sheets. A little bit of a space, and then we see our Kosas Wet Stick Shiny Sheer Lipstick and Baby Rose and 100 Degrees. And then all the way over towards my wrist is our Saint Laurent uh, Bold High Pigment Lipstick in 1968 Nude Statement, one of three new shades uh, for that formula from YSL. But I think you can really see that all of these have that kind of beautiful satin finish. The closest maybe the most, but they're not that dissimilar. Check it out outside in the warm California sunshine. Take a look at these here. Two, again, two Vive shades in Nighty and Silk Sheets, two Kosas Wet Stick shades in Baby Rose and 100 Degrees, and one of three new YSL shades in um, 1968 Nude Statement. I hear 1968 and I'm going to buy it. There's just something about the retro feel of this that feels very Jackie Onassis to me. Tell me if I'm wrong. It's up to you guys. All right, we are gonna go now to the demo. I have a montage of me trying on all of these shades and I wanna see what you think and then we'll be back after that. Stay right there. could have done this video from quickest to slowest application. The YSL is the fussiest, if you can call it fussy at all, really isn't, application, but this is for lipstick lovers. It really is. Just the, from the case to the application to the comfort level, um, you will really love this. It will suit your personality if that is who you are. Um, I like the Kosas. I know that a Pink Sparkle community member here was really excited about these and uh, they left her a little lacking. For me, Pink Sparkle, I love this because it's quick, it gets the job done and I'm out the door. And Pink Sparkle herself, like my friend Marion, I think would like this more. I really do. And the Vive is a nice in-between. It's quick to apply, beautiful casing, but uh, still easy to apply, a nice, comfy, lightweight lip. It is tough to find a bad lipstick these days. The innovations, even in drugstore lipstick, are amazing. Um, I dare you to find, <laughs> they're, they are out there, but they're rare. Lipsticks are really, really nice, easy to use, and these are all three I recommend it depends on your personality style with lipsticks and we all have one. It should be a questionnaire we all fill out. We should really do one for all of your favorites here on YouTube. What lipstick 
or type of lipstick suits each person. We're all very, very different, you know. All right, well, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Did you try any of these? And were you disappointed or did you love them? Vive is just becoming quicker and quicker, one of my favorite brands. So I'd love to know if you tried that. Tell me everything down below. It's what makes us a community. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so we can continue to grow. Come on over to Instagram and TikTok too and say a big hello and give me a like. And don't forget that you can become a bigger part of this community by becoming a channel member or by giving super thanks. However you are here, I am just super happy to have you. Make sure that you sub if you haven't, because when we reach 15, we are having a community-wide, absolutely free, open to everyone who subscribes. We are having a live where there will be giveaways of premium, unopened, unused, unlooked at, high quality, high end and luxury makeup. So I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.